Alright. Kahala, Yahweh, Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Rechakadash. Wanna give double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace and blessings, shalom to all the brothers across the four corners of the earth that's doing his work in truth and sincerity, man, and sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst of this wicked ass kingdom that we living in, man. And this lesson is pretty much geared towards you fucking Edomites, you, you pieces of shit, you low lifes, you scum, you less than spit, less than nothing, you dust of the balance, man. Who who's in an uproar right now because your kingdom is falling, man. And you got niggas, spicks, and Uncle Tomahawks telling you that it's going down, man. So I got a question for Esau ass, man. For you vocab Malones, James Whites, uh, uh, the demon that's writing articles about the brothers up there in Chicago. And anybody that got a problem with the truth, man. And the words that's, that, that the Most High is speaking through his men. If it's all a lie, if what we're speaking is bullshit, then why are you so fucking angry, man? Nobody puts energy or, or, or emotion into something that they feel is complete bullshit, man. But you got these Edomites on a complete uproar right now, man. Why? Because they seeing it was first, it was a joke, man. It was funny. Oh, you niggas gonna rule next. You got a kingdom. You the chosen people. America's gonna be destroyed. Speaking about all the prophecies that's to come, man. And now, it, it, the, the closer and closer it's getting to it, you damn devils are starting to see that it, it, it's really true. So now, your, 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 your thing is to attack the men that you see. But this is not our program. This is not a, a, something that we orchestrated on our, uh, on our own doings, man. This was set up by the Most High, so nothing you do will hinder the Most High's word from going out. Nor will you stop his uh, his prophecies, no matter how many articles you write, no matter how many guns you pull out. Nothing's going to stop it, Mr. White Man. Sorry, buddy. And to answer that question, why are you so angry, man? The scriptures got the perfect uh, 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 little answer, man. This is Proverbs 29 and 27. It says, an unjust man is an abomination to, to the just. And he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. And who who is the wicked in the earth, man? The nation of Edom, you Edomites, man. The so-called white man is the wicked of earth. And it's, uh, I'm going to read the second part once again. It says, and he that is upright in the way. So who's upright in the way, first of all, man? Only the men of the Lord who's teaching 100% uh, truth of the Bible, man, which are now the targets of the earth, man. Everybody, starting with the so-called white man, is pissed off at the words that's being spoke. Why? Because it, 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 it go, it, just so I'm going to grab a scripture real quick. Because you think about every kingdom that stand, people was loving it with the wickedness or the freedom of wickedness in that kingdom, man. So when somebody come and start speaking things that's going to tarnish what they hold dear or what they want out of life, they're going to have a problem with it, man. This is a... Uh, so I can... Wait one second. Come on, this is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of, and of pestilence. So you think about that, man. You got the so-called white man been winning since he can remember, man. Since the Renaissance period, he been winning, man. And now you got the, these low-life niggas in his eyes come up telling him that his time is up, man. You got the prophets of the Most High, man. Not no fortune tellers, no fucking uh, 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 mystical bullshit like people try to uh, set it to be, man. But the prophets just speak the understanding of the Bible and the prophecies to come, letting you know what's 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 coming to this place, man. And what's coming, like the scripture just said, man, is dealing with multiple countries, and you're seeing that right now, man. And ultimately, the the, the main thing is, is taking this devil out of rulership because he's in control of the whole earth, man. You got these other nations in rulership, but the so-called white man is, is at the tip of the sword, man. It says, uh, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. So that's why the wicked have a problem with the just, because we're speaking against uh, his kingdom and all the things that's going to come 
as far as taking this place down, man. So he's pissed off, man. What else would Phil the Eater might? Ain't no damn cracker just randomly strolling through downtown Dallas with a gun in his hand and decides to uh, to roll up on the men of the Lord. No, that was premeditated. You seeing more and more of these Edomites on the live shows, on the comment boards, and they pissed off, man. Why? Because they seeing that the words that the men of the Lord have been speaking through the Spirit are true. And America is going down. Right now it's falling financially. The infrastructure is going away, man. You got bridges dropping by, uh, 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 left and right, man. I can't wait uh, uh, for that Golden Gate Bridge, man. He saw always let you know somehow that that, that that Golden Gate Bridge is going down, man. This whole place is slipping and Esau's feeling it, man. So he's pissed the fuck off, man. But that's the way the Most High said it, man. This whole thing is about Jacob and Esau, man. And now it's coming out. You damn devils know who you are, man. You're not so-called white people. You are descendants of, uh, of Esau, man. You are the Edomite spoken of the scriptures. You are the fucking devil, man. And you cannot mess with the Most High's program, man. I'm going to grab some scriptures, man. It's just, just to show you devils what the Most High got set up, man. And that it don't start with us, man. Start with the Most High himself and then his son, which you hate. It's not us. You hate the Most High because you 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 the jealous big brother that's that's not getting no attention, man. And the attention you getting is from Satan, which is in complete compliance and order under the Most High, man. This is uh Saint John, chapter eight, and I'm gonna start at forty-five. It says. And, and, I, and because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do, do ye not believe me? He that is of Yahweh hear Yahweh's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of Yahweh. So you devils, like, you got, man, I don't even want to mention, hate to mention this little weird ass dude's name, but Vocab Malone. A key example is somebody who's just fucking bitter in the spirit because the Most High is not dealing with no fucking e with no Edomites, man. So along with other people who's trying to put that 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 negative uh, uh, spin on, on this and calling us Black Hebrew Israelites when that's not not the case, man. And just touch on that real quick, you would consider me a so-called Negro, and I'm not, man. To my knowledge, I'm a North American Indian, man, a Gadite. So-called North American Indian, man. But just to show you the simplicity of the so-called white man, he just look at everything from a carnal aspect. Why? Because the Most High don't have no type of spirituality in him, man. The so-called white man is a brute beast, and he's nothing but carnality in the flesh, man. And that's why he have a problem with this because his carnal ass can't see the spiritual things that the Most High is putting in us to speak, man. So that's why you can never get anything because we mostly bring these scriptures out for Jake. But it's just show you uh, to you Edomites, man, the, you don't have the understanding because you're not spirit, a spiritual people and the Most High is not dealing with you, man. So all you crackers that's trying to break down the Bible and defend your kingdom and, and state with, uh, which should be what... The Most High is not, is not even dealing with you to even uh, profess his words, man. The scriptures tell you uh, why the, you hate instructions, man. So how is the Most High going to have salvation waiting for a nation of people who are completely rebellious uh, against uh, righteousness, man? And, but you're completely in order with wickedness, man. This is a uh, real quick. St. John 8, 14 and... So like it. That's not the scripture I was looking for. Hey, it's funny, man. <laughs> I'm sitting back, just every time I'm doing a lesson, man, I love to turn on the camera and just fuck up the so-called white man's day by telling him he's going into slavery, man. And he can't understand it. Why? Because the most high is only dealing with the prophets of the, uh, with his prophets, man, and giving them the understanding, uh, first off, to warn Jake. Either get right or you're going to be destroyed. And then for condemnation to, to, to be voiced aloud 
towards these uh, other nations, man. At the head, the so-called white man. Why? Because he's the, the the king of wickedness. He's the devil, man. But this is uh, Amos chapter three and seven. It says, "Surely the Lord Power will do nothing, but He revealeth His secrets unto His servants, the prophets." Man, that's why you devils are so pissed off. Because for so long, uh, the so-called white man has been the, the 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 pinnacle of knowledge. He's been the height of intelligence. Which was complete bullshit, man. Through his witchcraft and all the and all the knowledge that the so-called white man got was only for his own destruction, man. The only thing you know how to do is make weapons, man. All the inventions you done stole, all the credit for anything you've ever ran across, you done stole, man. And the most high that took the, the lowly of the earth to, to confound you, man. And it's bugging you crackers out, man. Especially when you try to combat the men of the Lord and the scriptures or history and knowledge. And you make an ass of yourself. Well, the Most High makes an ass of you for fucking with his prophets, man. And when we get angry, we do it in righteousness, man. But we spiritual men and we understand that right now we're not supposed to be in no, no, no physical war or fight, man. And spiritually, we tearing you crackers a new asshole, man. This is a uh, First Corinthians chapter one, and I'm gonna start at 19. It says, "For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and will bring nothing, nothing, to bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent man." And that's what's happening throughout the earth by the men of the Lord who's doing this work, man. Through the Spirit of the Most High and the Son and the Holy Spirit, they're destroying the wisdom of the wise, man. All the knowledge of this earth is being smashed, man. All the false history that's been pushed out, man. Everything is being, that, that leg is being made bare, man. And yeah, we speak about all the whistleblowers and different things like that. But the main uh, 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 tool that the Most High is using to expose his devil and, and pronounce his, his end of his kingdom is the men of the Lord, man. I can only imagine how many TVs is getting kicked off of stands, how many computers and laptops is getting uh, destroyed from Edomites watching videos of brothers, man. And now it's not just sitting back for entertainment and low, look at these crazy niggas. No, you got these crackers feeling the, uh, the, the, uh, the curses, man. You got uh, these crackers feeling what we've been going through, but the Most High gave us a spirit to deal with it. You crackers ready to put a hole in your head, drive your whole family into the lake. Why? Because you don't understand what's happening. But you got these niggas telling you what's happening. But it'll, you, you just won't accept it. But it's coming to a point you're going to have to accept it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen regardless, man. The society is going to uh, gonna crash, man. The dollar bill is going to uh, be demonetized, man. Martial law will happen. And the Lord is going to return to take the to take this uh, uh, to usher in his kingdom, man. I'm going to read on a little bit more. Uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and uh, verse 20. It says, Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Had not Yahweh made foolish the wisdom of this world? And that's what you're seeing, man. Top scholars and, and, and uh, high-level uh, so-called pastors and ministers and goddamn priests then been confounded by the words of the Heavenly Father by low-life niggas. <laughs> In the eyes of the so-called white men, we're a bunch of low-life, bummy niggas on the street corners. But now you're seeing that everything that's been spoken through the Spirit is true, man. You're seeing your kingdom slipping through your very hands, man. And the only thing you can do is get carnal, man. Okay, do what you do, man. Do what you do best, which is exercise your blessing, which is a gun, man. The best thing you can do is send us to the spirit world. We're going to be right back on your motherfucking ass, man. Why? Because we died in the faith. We died pushing this word. We died uh, 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 in full belief that the Most High got us, man. See, devils can can get mad. You can do whatever you want, man. Your kingdom's going down. Your wives will be ravaged. Your, your, your babies will be bust on, uh, uh, across the side of a light pole. And not by my, my word, by the words of the Bible, man. 
the scriptures tell you if, if, if the wicked uh, uh, seed be multiplied, it's for the sword, man. So all you crackers that's uh, celebrating and having gender release parties uh, for your newborn babies and your expecting children, it's only for to, for them to be put to death and the up and coming uh, 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 slaughter when the Lord returns, man. I'm going to continue on. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 21. It says, for after that is the wisdom of Yahweh. The world by wisdom knew not Yahweh. It please it please you how about the foolishness of of preaching to save them that believe, man. So who who who's on the on the in the streets uh, uh, throughout the world looking like fools reading the Bible, man, and are are said to be saved? Key words says save them that believe. The only ones that can be saved once again are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and right now only uh, the elect out of the nation of Israel, man. So you heathens have no no go with that, man. But it said it pleased the most high by the foolishness of the preaching, man. So see so ones, you damn crackers that want to strive on put, putting out this black Hebrew Israelite movement bullshit, man. Well, what about all the brothers who've been putting up videos that, that look like a so-called white man? That look like uh, uh, somebody of another, another nation, a brother in the Philippines, man. What are they doing? They're making fools of themselves and preaching, man. So that that's evident that the uh, uh, it's not about color, first off, and it's about the spirit, man. Because only uh, uh, the spirit of an Israelite is gonna be convicted to do this work, man. Day in and day out, week after week, and devoting our life, man. Because that's what we did, man. Every brother that that's on the highways and byways put put their uh, life to an end to do the work of the heavenly Father, man. And it's not in you either, mice, to do that, man. Well, that's why the only thing y'all can do is going like go uh, like vocab is going on a damn hunt for Israelite camps, mainly GMS, to try to stop this word from going out and keep making an ass of yourself, man. Why? Because the Most High is making foolish the wisdom of this world, man, through the preaching of the prophets, man. Hey, it's a beautiful thing, man. Hey, we doing the, mo the, the work of the most high, man. It should, it should just feel you, man, knowing that you fucking pissing off a cracker, man. Fucking up his day. Because he fucked up our day for a long time, man. He fucked up our day for centuries, man. Now that he's on the tail end of the joke, and he don't have the inside joke, he's not on the VIP list, you, you damn crackers got a problem, man. Like you didn't have your chance to rule and you fucked it up. This is uh, Matthew chapter 10 and 22. And this is red letter. This is what you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man, speaking. It says, uh, Matthew uh, 10 and 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endure to the end shall be saved, man. So we understand that, 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 that uh, it's going to be major hatred. And the hatred from the so-called white man is going to be on a whole nother level to the point he want to take our lives, man. And that's going to sprinkle down to everybody, man. These other nations and indeed and two-thirds of our own people. But Esau is that driving force of hatred that want to stop this word from going out because this is his kingdom, man. And that's why I put this image up on the screen because the kingdom to come... The everlasting kingdom is going to be ruled by the niggas, Spicks, and Uncle Tomahawks that you hate so much, man. Once again, if this is all bullshit, why are you so angry? Why are you keyed in to every lesson that the apostles are doing? Why are you uh, 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 taking trips out to go see the brothers and face to face, man? Because it's eating you up alive and you know that this word is true and, and, and it's over for the so-called way, man. You, you, you had your petty reign of terror, man. Now it's time for you to go down, man. And nothing is going to stop that, man. No amount of flagging videos, articles, or whatever the hell you want to come up with, man. Because the so-called white man is really, you, you, you crackers are really simple, man. You're very simple and basic with your attacks, man. We know what the best you can do. You're corny as hell. You can't combat with us on no type of intellect, man. So the only thing you're going to result to is a gun, man. 
And why? Because you think that that's going to solve your problem. And that shows that you're Esau. You're the uh, uh, descendants of uh, Esau, man. Why? Because the only thing you're going to resort to is the gun. And why are you doing that? Because you pissed off that your kingdom is over, man. This is uh, St. John chapter 3 and 19. It says, uh, and this is the condemnation that the light that the light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light neither cometh to the light lest his deeds uh, shall be should be reproved man you so called white people you have no desire to be righteous man you're disgusting vile dirty people man and anything to deal with righteousness or doing what's right according to this Bible, you're completely set against, man. Why and proof of that? Bill of Rights. Your goddamn, uh, 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 your commandments, your constitution, all these things that you done wrote to show this. We don't need that Bible. We need to run our own shit, man. We need to set up our own corrupt system for us to leave loopholes in and jump around and, and manipulate and, and, and continue to rule in power, man. But that time is up, man. Your kingdom is split. You got major separation among Satan, man. So how can this kingdom stand? It can't. It was never set to stand. It was set to be lifted up to a certain level to lift up the pride of this devil and be taken down, man. Why? Because they hate the light. They love darkness, man. The so-called white man loves darkness. You are the true black people. You fucking uh, crackers. Y'all the real black people, man. And one more scripture, man. Hey, right, man. I, I, all you eat mates that's out there and may, may see this, continue to do what you're doing, man. Because all you're doing is fulfilling prophecy, man. And nothing y'all gonna do is going to catch us on guard and, and, and the true men the, of the elect are not going to be uh, scared or frightened by any attempts to uh, to stop this word, man. Shit, majority of us grew up in the damn uh, hoods anyway, so what the hell is seeing a gun going to do? Make us feel at home? <laughs> this uh, Galatians chapter 4 and 16 it says, am I therefore become your enemy because uh, because I tell you the truth? But I thought this was all about John 3.16. Everybody's accepted, man. See, nobody had an issue with with with, uh, uh, with with the Edomites being the chosen people. When they professed themselves to be the chosen people, nobody had shit to say. And to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans start rising up through the spirit, uh, and, and professing to be the chosen people now everybody's uh, pissed off everybody's mad man so anybody that, that, that's down with the so called white man rem remaining in rulership has become uh, our enemy first off to the most high in his son and then it trickled down to us man because it's really not about us it's the most high that you're offending and you're going against man because we're speaking his words and because we have done so we've become the enemy but the so-called white man is talking about forgive and forget, love everyone. Well, well, where's that sentiment when it comes to the men that's just out preaching the Bible? It don't exist because you're the ultimate fucking hypocrite, man. You're the you're a complete actor and a fraud, man. And your kingdom is going down. So to so all you, you, you Edomites, man, because it's not about uh, color or lack of color. It's about your spirit and what you, you see goes back to. And you have a wicked, perverse spirit in you. And the Most High is about to rid the earth of you after a thousand years of slavery, man. Hey, with that, to all you crappers, all you heathens, and all you niggas that want to be heathens, man. Death unto you. I hope you have a horrible day. And once again, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shah, Ba'asham, Rechakadash. I want to give double honors to our apostles and elders a great millstone and peace and blessings to all the brothers uh, uh, uh the nation of Israel who, who's who's uh, uh fighting and pushing this word, man. And with that, shalom.